So I'm going to give an introduction, uh, and actually we're going to go through this a couple of times, uh, because these are the concepts that get more traction when you start talking about very specific things. So the traction that we're going to get is going to uh, involve talking about patients, okay, uh, and talking about film. And we're going to talk at least about one patient in some detail, and we're going to talk about um, uh, uh, at least one film in detail, but we'll talk about a couple of different films. So after, um, after Jung spent uh, his time working on the Red Book and after he had his, um, his breakdown uh, in which he um, uh, became very introspective and was working on himself and he was, uh, he was journaling and, um, and, and, and then started putting what he was learning from all this in, into the Red Book. Uh, by the um, 1920s, early 1920s, um, he started to go back out into the world um, and start forming these concepts and presenting these concepts. So we're going to talk about uh, the 1925 seminars, and we're going to pull some material from that and explain what that's about, because the timing of that is very important. So these concepts started to come together. Um, the center of consciousness is the ego, okay? That's the you and the me that is, uh, that is here right now, you listening to me right now. Um, the persona is the face that we put on the world, the face, uh, that which we present to the world. It's, um, the persona is meant to be transformed. Uh, the persona is meant to be uh, in informed by our unconscious uh, psyche. And um, it's interesting, Jung used um, uh, the um, shirt of Nessus, which is a story uh, about Heracles, or Hercules, the, the, the Roman version, uh, and the story was that, that Heracles' um, nemesis, uh, whose name was Nessus, who was a centaur, uh, who Hercules killed, before his death, he gave uh, a shirt that was tainted with the centaur's blood to uh, Heracles' wife uh, and telling him that this is a gift. So Heracles' wife unknowingly gives this shirt to Heracles. When Heracles puts it on, it eventually begins to burn him and burns him to a point of such suffering that he kills himself. And the reason Jung used this, uh, this mythology uh, about the persona is uh, kind of a warning that if we get too attached <laughs> and too identified with our persona, it can destroy us. Uh, and we'll, we'll refer back to that or allude back to that when we talk about uh, a, 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 f a fig historical figure of Marilyn Monroe. It's a perfect example of that. When we talk about the shadow, we talk about everything that we don't know. Okay? Uh, and the shadow is a personified um, uh, version of what we don't know, okay? The anima and animus is very interesting because, uh, because this is what um, connects us to the collective unconscious. This is what connects us. It's a, it, it brings us, it builds a bridge between our consciousness and our collective unconscious. Uh, Jung's concept of the archetype, probably one of the most um, controversial, uh, is an idea, and we often confuse the archetypes with images. And Jung, uh, uh, in several, several times, made it clear that he's not talking about an archetype in the sense of an image. The archetype is the propensity towards something, uh, it, which can take on many different images. Um, so, and so you can see it as a container uh, in which there are particular patterns of behavior um, that 
come out of uh, the collective unconscious. And we'll talk more about that. I'm going to go through these again when we talk about a particular movie uh, called The Black Swan. Individuation is this, is, is this movement towards wholeness. Uh, the psyche is set up uh, to move towards wholeness. And any split off parts of ourselves will eventually need to reach consciousness. Um, James Hillman, the psychologist James Hillman, uh, uh, wrote a book called The Force of Character. And, the f and so another way of describing individuation is this force of character, this, this part of us that, that is growing uh, and, and needs to grow and towards this, this sense of, of wholeness, this sense of, individual, uh, of being an individual. And the self uh, is the, the center of the psyche at the same time encompasses the whole psyche. Okay, let me show you a diagram. Now this is an interesting diagram because, par partly because it's, um, it reflects what Jung's thinking was in 1925. Uh, this was uh, what he presented in the 1925 seminars. Uh, 